Welcome back to Stick War Legacy. Today, they brought in a new unit. I have never met this unit before, and it's one of the first, I think, it might actually be the first, unless you consider the Merrick, but I feel like the Merrick's almost like a spirit in a way, or not necessarily human, or not necessarily stick man, right? But check this out. In mission 139, we have the princess. Destroy the princess before she destroys the king. We're gonna start with two Spiritans, and we have to deal with triple barricades, and we're gonna be fighting the Woodland Tribes, which are free, or like cheaper units that spawn quicker. So I feel like to fight that, we are going to need, well, we could fight Leaves with Leaves, which might be the play here. And keep in mind, we are gonna start with two Spiritans, so I'm wondering, hey, Maybe we should use our upgrade points here. And our units are gonna be cheaper, so I don't think we're gonna need to upgrade our miners. Let's go with Spiritan damage all the way maxed up, and then health, two out of three upgrade points right there. Okay, so we've got ourselves, the king is here! Let's get, let's get one and four miners, but like, oh, oh, there she is. Okay, so the princess is an archer who's firing incredibly fast. Is that like double, triple the rate of a regular archer? It's not an insane amount of hit points though, or, or rather damage that they're doing, but she is an archer and the king is a slow moving unit. He moves about as fast as a magic kill does, so. Relatively vulnerable, I think. All right, so we've taken this out. Now our guys gain access to more gold nodes. Looks like we have one other node, so I definitely want to use that as long as possible um, and not take down this middle barrier because we went hard on econ, right? So now that we've basically blown all of our money so that we can get more money quicker, so we've got to wait a little bit of time here. And I am a little bit nervous, but none of those guys are doing a ton of damage. And fortunately for us, the princess is not investing in her economy, it looks like. Oh, there we go. Some new miners. One is dancing right now. I've actually never seen a miner do that before. Is that a bug? I think that was a bug. That's one of the only bugs I've ever seen in this game. Props to the developers for like how clean they've made it. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but like there's been a lot of teases as far as like what's gonna be coming out for Stick War 3, like the campaign. There's a lot going on and I am so excited. So I might just make an episode and kind of share all that I know about it. If you guys do wanna see that, well, uh, let me know in the comments or like if you have any challenges, anything like that. And I feel like the king, if he's slow moving, we need a lot of really, really strong units to distract. We need a number of units, otherwise the princess is just gonna be just shooting way too many arrows. So she's going heavy. I feel like she's almost like a night elf, a wood elf in a way, because, you know, of the wood skins. That's the way I like to think about it. We need some pointy ears and like some kind of a tunic or something like that. But we have eight miners pumping out that gold. No special spells or anything like that. Nothing fancy. We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way and honestly I think we might want to start cracking down that wall. Okay. So you know what? That is what we're gonna be doing. Unfortunately the king joins in on the battle though, but you see how slow he is? So he will hang back there. And I don't think the princess is gonna have any particular units that are gonna rush past me. In fact, I kind of fully expect her to retreat. But the goal is, we gotta kill her before she kills the king. All right. It seems one, two, one, two. She fires almost a little quicker than two times, or twice the rate of a regular archer. So I guess we have to assume that in Stick War 3, we'll get the princess as a playable character, potentially? Like, there's so many special units. And I, I, I'm curious how they're gonna be brought into Stick War 3. The enemies called in reinforcements? Oh my gosh, she has a giant, okay. Now protect the king. Is that the king? Oh, that's not the king. King! I can't select you. Get out of there! Oh, just dodged a giant slam. 
And she's back there. Oh, man, that giant is the perfect unit to counter my army, I think. I feel like we actually have to, like, retreat. Yeah, let's retreat. Oh, shoot. This is bad. <laughs> he is so slow. And we need more archers if we're going to take down a giant like that. Although he is pretty weak. So we retreated, or rather, a tactical maneuver there. We are, uh... It's, what, what's the joke? It's a tactical withdrawal, it's not a retreat? Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what we did. Totally. Weren't scared. I wasn't... I was basically not comfortable with the fact that I was just gonna lose too many of my spear tins. I don't know what it is. Whenever I play an army strategy game, like, I just hate the idea of losing units. Like, I know I could win a battle or whatever, but like, for whatever reason, I'm like, I want to take as few losses as possible. Unless, of course, I'm playing like a faction like zombies. You kind of just like role play it a little bit and like, yeah, I fully expect to lose lots of units. But man, my army is huge. I mean, we're almost capped out at this point. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious. The princess isn't as um, crazy as maybe I would have thought. I was expecting like a pretty powerful unit. Now they can't retreat, right? So they'll definitely hold their ground and eat all these arrows for breakfast. All right. Gentlemen, attack. let's attack. But I do, I, I just love how Crazy J and the development team just like, you know, went in and was like, you know what, let's make more boss units, mini bosses, bosses, special units. I love that. That's like what makes Stick War Legacy Stick War Legacy in my mind. All right, here we go. The king, okay, I thought, I, I saw a spear team with pretty low health, like sitting in front of the king and I was worried that was the king's health, but it looks like we are going to be able to mop this one nice and easy like. So now they got to use their miners to defend. <laughs> Not very well. I'm kind of curious. Oh, look at the king's dance. His victory dance is incredible. So the king wins in a duel with the princess, but I'm not sure. I don't think I just never remember seeing the princess before. Lavish leader of the miners. He's awesome. Large starting event. Yeah. Did have you guys seen the princess before? I mean, we could try on hard. Now, what about she does a lot of? I kind of want to keep it the way it is, honestly. And I'll have max health. And I'm gonna upgrade my archers this time, so that way most of the damage I'm planning on actually coming out. All right, there's my full bit of miners, and then with our first little bit of gold, we'll actually get an archer. Yeah, I think that's fine. She doesn't fire any faster on a harder difficulty. All right, we've broken through the first wall. They're gonna break through the third wall. And let's actually keep this second wall up for now. Because once again, we rushed Econ. Although this time we're gonna have to rely more on archers. And we know that she's just gonna bring a giant out when she retreats back to her castle. Hey, buddy. I do not want you shooting that rock, even if it's slow. I need all the time in the world to build up my army. What is going on here? This is hilarious. Gentlemen, stop. Stop it. Only one is doing it. That's super weird. All right. Will they go back and do it? Yeah. What the heck? I don't understand. To me, it doesn't make much sense why they're doing that. We might actually have to buy a few sword wrath. And I feel like the princess needs something a little bit more special. Maybe a golden bow or a special looking bow. Because her bow looks just like my bow. And once again, I feel like this might be another weird little... I guess we could do this. We could do a user control and that basically keeps the unit from firing, which is kind of funny. So here we go. This is one way of doing it. Now, we need enough units to... Huh. Kite the enemy? What's the tactic here? Hey guys! What if I'm killing anybody back there? I hope so. <laughs> oh, I see this miner with an arrow in him. <laughs> so that guy took one to the chest. Now, I'm always tempted to buy Sword Wrath, but I feel like when there's giants and archers, they will just get absolutely destroyed cut to ribbons even knowing that i don't know what it is when i see me having some money and having to wait i want to buy them <laughs> all right so we'll get one more 
Uh, I don't know, man. Might as well just wait for a full army. I think, on the harder difficulty. They're gonna kick harder. That's for sure. And I do believe... Yeah, we have eight miners. Two per node. Yeah, okay. Gold's starting to flow in. I'm starting to feel pretty confident. <laughs> and you can tell by my, uh... Unit cap of 41 out of 50 basically being the real reason. Well, I'm feeling pretty confident. So we'll get one more spear tin and then fill out with some archers. And actually, timing might be pretty close to perfect. All right, so three lines of spear tins, I feel like that's adequate. I don't think the princess wants to attack at all. She did get a wizard though, dang it. But I guess we do have archers, so we should be able to cut them down, especially during the retreat. We're just not sure if they're gonna retreat the entire army or not. Like, once we attack, will they even skirmish at all? Will they try to fight a little bit? Or will it just be a full-on retreat right off the bat? And then we'll have to face them when they get the reinforcements by taking the statue down to almost like, you know, the ends of its life. I'm a little bit worried. Maybe we did wait a little bit too long. Maybe we should have attacked. It's too late now. We've made our decision. We've made our bed. Now we are going to sleep in it. Because this bed is actually a hot tub with like a floating raft and you got like, you know, a mojito there and uh, two cheeseburgers and like a big TV. So honestly, it's a pretty nice bed to be in. All right, everybody's here. We have full units. Archers take down the wall. Spiritons charge in. Take a few arrows to the face. We got a testudo formation on the back line. Not the front line, interestingly enough. We didn't snipe the wizard though. Spiritons too strong. Alright, I do want to keep the king back, though. I wish you could give them, like, more complicated orders. We have lost two units, okay. Alright, so we'll pull back just a little bit, and then once the king starts to feel like he's in the back... Alright, Kingifer. Let's get you out of here, Kingifer. And the archer should do a lot of the heavy lifting here. I do not want my king on the front line. Oh, look at that. Very smart, Mr. King. Does he have advanced AI? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He wants to be, no! He wants to be Mr. Frontline. We got a little bit too big for our britches here. And unfortunately, the king died. Although, technically, it wasn't the princess who killed him. It was definitely the giant. So, mistakes were made. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Stick War Legacy. Pull that trigger and like button if you do want to see more. And I will see you in the next video.